Thank you. No problem. Welcome back to Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon, and I'm happy to have with me today MD. Um, MD and I, we work together. MD is a um, a very creative, very uh, informed information technology uh, professional with over 12 years. Is it, 12, is it more than 12 years now, right, MD? Yeah, yeah, 13. 13 years now of IT support experience. MD holds over 22 certifications from ICT. I was reading about that earlier this morning. Um, he has a long journey, and he's excited today just to come in and speak to us a little bit about his career the journey to where it is he is now and how exactly he's looking to move forward in the future. So MD, thank you so much for joining. You want to tell us a little, a little bit about yourself? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Richard, for having me today in this uh, uh, session. Um, and thank you everyone who are listening outside here and there. So yeah, I, I'd like to go with my journey uh, at first, uh, both educational and uh, experience and uh, uh, geographical journey as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. Uh, as you already said, I have uh, 13 in this May. It will be 13 years uh, in this industry. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, pretty much long. Uh, I started, though, I started from my homeland, you know, Bangladesh. It's a South Asian country near India. So I started from there and then moved to Canada in 2019 and uh, working here for three years, more than three, uh, actually four years it will be in this May and heading towards uh, citizenship in Canada. So yeah, I have a graduation in computer science, then did master's. So it's a pretty bit long journey. So yeah, that's wow. it. That, that's awesome. What are some so um so what are some recent roles that you have have had and what what are some um some things that you have worked on during that time period? Yeah. So in this uh thirteen year journey, recently I'm working uh, with Entrust. You know, I have joined Entrust as a uh, principal technical support specialist. Mm -hmm. So we currently we do support. Uh, there is a team uh across working across the globe. Uh, we have lots of customers, lots of product in PKI industries. We have other products in our in company, but our team dedicatedly support for PKI products. Okay. So those who do not know the PKI, PKI is public key infrastructure. When there is a, a security relation need to be built up uh, to give the trust, like this is the authenticate service or authenticate platform. Yeah. So they talk with each other with exchanging their keys, like mm -hmm. keys and lock works. So this is in the IT industry. This is how it works. It's a complex environment. Yeah. But uh, if you have time, we can go over it. But yeah. I'm still learning. I have all the basic uh, expertise. I, I, I would say foundation level from A plus to Cisco to Microsoft, uh, all the OS level products uh, I have worked with. Yeah. Now uh, we are working with enterprise level products. So okay. this is uh, now top of my mind. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. So 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 we have some some audience members who are a little bit less technical. So just to break down what he says again, MD holds a master's degree, <laughs> so he's he uh, his brain functions a lot higher than the, you know what I mean than. Um, than a common person just in terms of of that uh, understanding of computer computer. So um, MD and I work for a, a company that works heavily with public key infrastructure. And those public key infrastructure basically helps to to encrypt, um, to protect um, different information on people's computers. So we sell software to different companies, companies like uh, some of the largest companies you can think of, so governments all around the world, uh, governments here, um, you know, Disney, all these different places are are um, customers of the company we work for. And what happens is is that we take, uh, say, you have a a, um, a document. It instead of you passing that document off, you want to make sure that only person who can understand that document is the authorized receiver. So we take that that information. It kind of scrambles it into a language no one really understands. And then someone on your end gets a, a key and someone on their end gets a key. So when that time comes, they're able to unlock it 
and to read the document. Um, MD is part of, he is part of the technical support team. He's a principal. Um, with that, what he does is that part of, he works with a lot of programming, our Java toolkit. Um, you know, it's, 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 to a lot of people, it looks like, it looks like gibberish, <laughs> but, but he's able to put things together and to get it working. So it has been just, you know, a, a, a honor to work with, with MD. He is, he's, to task with the, our environment is not an easy one to understand, and he's been able to to, to grasp it pretty well. Um, MD, what is it? What has it been like? You know, like you said like you you came from Bangladesh. Um, what was that journey like? So you started your IT career. Um, did you have plans to come to 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 Canada? How how was that that process when you first started? Yeah. So yeah, good question. So as I worked there, there are almost. Uh, eight to nine years over there after graduation even i did masters in uh, business administration mm -hmm. so i was working there like you know most of the innovative ideas and planning and execution are happening around the globe mm -hmm. and in our country there are a lot of resources and only few things that are happening but there's so much competition and it was uh, actually it was not easy to work with cutting tech technologies, you know, IoT, cybersecurity, mm. all the worlds, the other companies are so, so much ahead of them. So I was thinking like how if I move to another innovative countries where the people are accepting immigrants and there are lots of opportunities, especially in IT, yeah. because this sector is moving too fast. Mm -hmm. So then I researched there is like there are options for Canada, Australia. Those are immigrant friendly countries. Yeah. Uh, even New Zealand. Uh, so then I picked Canada because some of my friends and seniors, they are they already moved to Canada and they got the IT jobs very easily. Uh, they have a good life, you know, social security yeah. and health, education, yeah. jobs. Mm -hmm. So all the facilities. So that's why me, my wife, we, we plan to move here. Then in 2019, we moved here. And after that, we got job. I got job. Yeah, as per my requirement, expectation matching, I started with my career IT security. Then I moved to IoT, okay. uh, Internet of Things technology. Then again, I'm back in, in, in cyber security. <laughs> it's a security, not cyber, but yeah. it's a infrastructure security. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad whatever I have done. So I think that was my best decision in my career to move in Canada because I'm getting this opportunity as I am a PR holder in Canada. Mm -hmm. It was not easy in our country from that side corner to get a job of a first world country. You know how how, how is it? And and so so many of my audience, right? We, we've there's some people who watch from Africa, but many mm -hmm. people have never been to India, or Bangladesh. What is we hear so much about the environment and how how uh, intelligent the the Indian worker is? What is it like? Is like is it is it very comp comp competitive? Yeah, we are similar, like, like almost like uh, Indians, even hundred years back. Mm -hmm. uh, though the whole continent was called as a India. Okay. Uh, there was now um, in in a separation. They have India divided into two parts, India and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Then after another separation, Pakistan divided into two parts, Pakistan and Bangladesh. So we got our independence from... Actually, even before that, India was dominated or controlled by England, Britain, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. um, 200 years. So mm -hmm. it's about political journey. Yeah. And if we talk about cultural or educational or intelligence level, that's a different thing. So cultural in 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 that geographic area, so every if you cross a hundred miles, the culture is changing. You know, mm -hmm. in different part of the world, they they have the different community, they have different language, cultures, so religion. So we are almost similar. You can see our get up. Mm -hmm. uh, accent all are similar but we have a different language like indians the major indians talk in hindi the mm -hmm. language in bangladesh we talk in bangla okay. or mother tongue, mm -hmm. mother tongue and in pakistan they talk in urdu so okay. difference are there 
and in experience education we are all parallel i would say mm -hmm. so and they are now more, more technology oriented they are having more educational rate like almost more than 50 percent are now educated like uh, graduated or almost wow. like have 12 degree degree 12 <laughs> class so, so I'm sorry. Let me say that again. So you said more than fifty percent have their their graduate. They have a, have a degree. Yeah, like uh, almost fifty percent have their twelfth grade, ten to twelfth grade. Okay, gotcha. in this generation, especially this generation, uh -huh. because um, in our earlier generation it was not easy access yeah. to education. Mm -hmm. uh, but nowadays, all of my friends, senior juniors, they are doing great in they're moving to uh, other parts of the world you know australia canada us mm -hmm. they're going for higher studies uh, they are doing some startup and yeah they're they're moving very fast so yeah. they're progressing so i'm uh -huh. very glad of that mm -hmm.